Hey guys! Alright, so they released the season 5 Potomac Housewives taglines today. And if you already don't know, I'm going to watch the taglines and rate them from the best to the second best to the third and so on and so on. And then the worst tagline. I mean, you guys should already know this. I've been doing this for three fucking years. And it's so funny because I actually started this whole entire tagline reaction series from doing the Potomac Housewives. So last year, um, it was April, the fourth season of Potomac Housewives, someone had inboxed me on Twitter saying, Hey Marcus, you should do reaction videos to the taglines for the Potomac Housewives. And I was like, hey, I should, huh? So this is how it all got started with me doing the Potomac Housewives first, then, then I did New York City, then Beverly Hills, and then you all know it if you all seen my other reaction videos for the taglines. So yeah, it's quite funny that I, I started out with the Potomac women and I'm ending most likely with the Potomac Housewives. So I have decided that this most likely would be my last Housewives review. Um, I, you know, I've been thinking about leaving YouTube for a, a while now. And when I say leaving, I don't know if I will permanently leave or just take a hiatus or just a break. Um, I, I'm just, for the, I, I, something's going to be happening with me in the next couple of months. No, I'm not going to jail. But I just need to focus on some things and, I, and YouTube really does take a lot of my time You know making these videos. It's not like a 15 minute process It's about a three hour four hour process and I just need to focus on some things right now so like I, I, I Don't want to say I'm leaving for good, but then again, I don't know um because, you know what, this is the thing too, guys. I'm going to be honest. You know, I'm not getting that many views. I'm getting like 3,000, 4,000 views. And someone had mentioned that, or a couple of people had mentioned it on my um, comments. And I'm a sucker to, like, I, I do read the harsh comments. And I, it does, like, it, I do, I'm the type to, like, I I'll, will read a harsh comment. Then I will, like, process it throughout the whole entire day. And then I am a sucker. I do get offended. And so I'm thinking, like, yeah, why am I making videos that are only getting 3,000 views when other people are doing the same thing? That's me that's making 20 or that is getting 20,000 views. Um, and I've been doing this for three years, and I, you know, I had a successful run in my eyes. I've gained so much love from many people. People have reached out to me on all social media platforms, and I, I have got so much love um, from people on YouTube as well. But like I said, I need to focus on some other things. And if I was getting like maybe like 15, 20,000 views, maybe I would feel like, okay, this is going somewhere. But I don't really feel like this. Is going anywhere on YouTube in my opinion you know I, I don't really see me actually making a living off of my videos unfortunately I'm appreciative that I had three good years on uh, making videos I am I'm appreciative but I just need to focus on some other things right now that's the reason why I did like a like three-year collage video I posted it last week if you didn't see it here's a link above um, but yeah, that's the reason why I did that video because I'm like I, I, I've been on here for three years and it's been a good fun run I have loved connecting with a lot of you all and I'm appreciative of all the love and support um, but yeah I'm just gonna take I just need to take a little break but who knows maybe I'll come back next month and make a video but if I don't make I, I think I'm saying this because if I don't make like a reaction video to any new trailer or any new taglines this is the reason why and I just don't want to disappear without letting you all know why I'm disappearing is that fair I do plan on making two more videos though. I plan on making um, my coming out story and then I plan on making um, my first time of having sex story. So I do plan on making those two videos and then I'm done after that. So this will probably be my last Housewives video for a while or maybe forever, who knows. So if you've never seen my first reaction tagline reviews for the Potomac Woman, here is the link above. I did season one through four last year. Like I said, this is how it all got started. <laughs> All right, guys, so you came here to watch my reaction to these taglines. So I'm going to watch the taglines, and after the video, I'm going to rate them and tell you which one is my favorite, and then I'll let you know which one is the worst tagline, all right? All right, let's get started. I'm still the baddest thing walking and the most anointed one talking. Honey, the grand dame doesn't repeat history. She makes it. All right, Karen. <laughs> Maybe if you tried a little harder, you wouldn't have to try me. I have to watch him. I'm like in a house full of ballers, but I never get played. Uh, oh, girl. What? Now that I got my baby, that's the only crap I take. Corny. Reading is fundamental. And honey, I own the library. The professor has arrived. Oh. And class is officially in session. 
there were some corny ones and there were some good ones. I, okay, Candace, I see your little hair flipping. You know, you ain't the only one who could flip hair. <laughs> okay, Candace. Um, Gabrizel, first of all, you keep saying the whole, I'm not the only one talking or whatever you keep saying about talking and walking. Well, you keep saying that every season. You're probably going to get the worst, but I have to watch these one more time um, just so I can like fully analyze, is that the word, the right word to use? Analyze? Um, or fully, like, you know, I have to watch it one more time so I could, you know, just, just, just make sure I'm giving the right placement, you know, um, in, in my head. All right, guys, let's watch this one more time. What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, that, I gotta move out of here. They vanquishing demons. Is a charm ones living above me? What the fuck was that shit? Scared the shit out of me. Shit, I think I should have myself. All right, guys, let's watch this one more time. I'm still the baddest thing walking and the most anointed one talking. Anointed? Honey, the grand dame doesn't repeat history. She makes it. I like that. Maybe if you tried a little harder, you wouldn't have to try me. Okay, Monique. I live in a house full of ballers, but I never get played. <sighs> yes, you do. Now that I got my baby, that's the only crap I take. Corny. Reading is fundamental. And honey, I own the library. No, you don't. The professor has arrived. And class is officially in session. All right, so, so like I said, some of them are corny and some of them are good. Um, some of them I like, but I just don't agree that it matches with their personality, a.k.a. Robin, a.k.a. Dunky, which is Candace. I shouldn't have said that. Well, she does look like Dunky from Shrek. Dunky and um, the dragon. She has, yeah, she just, yeah, sharp teeth. Her veneers are too big for her mouth. Nene leaks, you know, like, come on. Why do people get those big, gigantic veneers? You should get teeth that matches with your face. You know, you, uh, that's what you look like, Candace. <laughs> I'm flipping my hair. <laughs> All right, so my favorite tagline, it will go to Monique, um, which is said, maybe if you tried a little harder, you wouldn't have to try me. Uh, uh, uh. Go ahead, Monique, Monique, Monique. You so unique. I think about you on the toilet seat. I love me some Monique, you know, I, it's, it's something about her. Um, but Monique, you are going to get the best tagline uh, for season five. The second best I will give to the Grand Don. Um, it, when she said, honey, the Grand Don doesn't repeat history. She makes it. I know that's right, Karen. I love me some. I, Monique and Karen are really the reason why I like this show. Um, they, they are actually quite funny and entertaining. And Karen, to me, reads really well. Um, Gabrizel, she gets some good reads, but Karen, she knows how to read somebody. And I like you, Karen. I, I like you. So, uh, Monique gets the first best and Karen gets the second best. Third, I'll have to give it to Dragon. Um, even though she said reading is fundamental and honey, I own the library. I don't really think that you are good at reading. I never really... I don't think I, I don't remember any of your clapbacks, um, but I don't remember you as a good reader, but I did like this tagline, so I am giving you third place dragon, um, and I like when you flip your hair, I don't know, something about that really, like, is like, excite me, woo, um, Ashley didn't do it as good as you did, um, but I don't like you, Candace, by the way, I'm not team you, I am team Monique, Monique, I think about you on the toilet seat, um, yeah, I'm not team you, Candace, at all. You're whack. I like your mother. I think your mother should be a housewife, and I think that you should be a friend of the show. In my opinion, I think your mother will fit white, quite well with this group. Candace, you just act too immature to me in, in, within this circle. But yeah, I'm giving you a third place. I, like I said, I don't really think that your um, tagline fits your personality, but I do like your tagline. Fourth place, I'm giving it to the new housewife, Wendy, when she said the professor has arrived and class is officially in session. It's not really as catchy but is better than the last couple ones so when do you get fourth place fifth place would go to gabrizel um i'm still the baddest thing talking and the most anointed one walking girl we are so sick of you saying it or and i don't know if i'm speaking for everybody but i am so sick of you saying that every single season how many times are you gonna say it? it's time to retire that tagline ahija i'm talking what are you doing it's, it's time to retire that tagline, Gabrizel. You're starting to remind me a little bit of Heather from New York City with the whole holla every single fucking year. So, Gabrizel, next season, um, you should not be talking about walking or talking, and you're definitely not anointed one. Who told you that you're anointed, huh? Your, your husband may be a priest, but that doesn't make you anointed, and he really shouldn't be a priest slinging his dick around in the congregation and getting everyone pregnant. By the way, congratulations. I heard that your boyfriend, so she's dating her baby father, her ex-husband, um, but he is uh, expecting from somebody in his church. She, she's pregnant. Um, so congratulations, Gabrizel. You're going to be a stepmom. 
Good for you. Good for you. You, like you said, you are the baddest thing walking. <laughs> and you are anointed. So, congratulations. Where can I send a baby gift? Where's Phaedra? Because you know what? Phaedra should be on the show. If you guys didn't know, Phaedra dated Gabrizel's ex-husband a couple years ago. And I found out because Gabrizel was on Watch What Happens Live and she was throwing shade at Phaedra and said the reason why she's throwing shade at Phaedra is because she was dating her ex-husband, which I don't understand why you mad. If you guys are divorced, why can't Phaedra date your ex-husband? I didn't get that, Gabrizel. The reason why I don't like you. I'm the anointed one. Girl, you ain't anointed. You are a Jezebel. All right, sixth place goes to Robin. She says, I live in a house full of ballers, but I never get played. <sighs> you set yourself up for that one. Um, I'm not even going to go in detail with that because I think that we all know where I would go if I continue to shade the shit out of you. So we're just going to skip you, Robin, like the producer should have when they casted you for season five. I don't understand why you're back on season five. You are not needed. You are an extra of an extra. Uh, you're just so boring. And I just don't understand. Like your husband is so good looking, but that's not a reason to keep you on the show, in my opinion. So I'm just going to skip you. So last place goes to Ash with her old man perverted husband her tagline was now that I have my baby that's the only crap I take that is so fucking corny that reminds me of Megan from OC she has said something similar to that in one of the seasons and I'm just gonna give you a corny uh, you're, you get the worst tagline Ashley I don't like you I don't like your uh, perverted old man gay in the closet husband your baby your baby is ugly your baby came out old I didn't know that Benjamin Buttons was your baby your baby has an old man face it's like the baby father your husband um he doesn't look like the baby doesn't look like he was done developing so you need to stick him back in your coochie so he can finish developing because he came out like an old man that was a lot of shade i just threw huh but it's the truth her baby did come out looking like benjamin buttons i mean that's what the baby should be called benjamin buttons came out looking like an old man i guess that's what you get for having sex with a gay grandfather <laughs> that is my review and my reaction to the season five taglines which one was your favorite tagline and which one was your worst tagline comment below all right guys so like i said this may be my last video i'm not sure what the future holds maybe i'll be back next month maybe i'll be back next year or maybe i won't be back but thank you so much for three wonderful years on youtube i appreciate all the love um, if you want to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, um, the, the, my Twitter name and Instagram names are down in the description area. So, um, we shall see what the future holds. All right. So the Real Housewives of Potomac season five airs August 2nd at 9, 8 central on Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Down below in the description area under more Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information. So go ahead and follow me guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video requests that you have. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Bye guys. <laughs>